Good morning everybody, welcome to another vlog. It is Friday the 10th of July and Danilo's birthday. Happy birthday, my love. Um, he's gone to play golf, I'm working half day today and then spending the rest of the day with him. I've just finished my workout um, for this Friday. I'm gonna undone my breathing techniques um, and I'm gonna go shower my um, August Women's Month Health and Wellness Challenge is going live today. So by the time you see this vlog, it will already be live. If you haven't signed up, you really should. The prizes are amazing for the most improved lady. So please go and sign up. It's really going to be awesome. And yeah, the prizes are just insane. Like, I would love them. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys after my shower. Morning guys, um, I've just finished a leg workout and abs and now I'm going to go for a run and get my steps in but I need to take, I didn't take a, my normal dosage of pre-workout this morning, I only took a little bit so I could save another bit just for my run because we went to bed real late last night, like around half past 11 which is, I might, might not be late for all of you but it's pretty late for me. So. <clears throat> I'm a bit tired um, and I'm feeling a little fragile. I haven't drank like being an alcoholic in a month basically. Um, and I had two and a half glasses of Prosecco last night, which is not a lot, but I think if you don't drink, yeah. So a little fragile, but cheers. And it's also super cold today. And the wind is blowing like mad but i didn't do any more like filming yesterday because i just spent the day with danilo once he got home from golf and he just chilled and whatnot because obviously it's his birthday but yeah he had a really fun time we got home about half past 11 and yeah that's my workout space so anything else wants to see i'm leaving everything as is so that i can go for a run um i need my buff my headband which I don't know where it is so yeah that is the plan for right now and then I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna tan because I've got some pictures to do so I will show you guys my tanning routine I don't really have a routine but I'm gonna show you how I do it if I can find my headband that would be totally lovely thank you because my ears get terribly cold in the morning and also my hair is really dark today except for my pony but yeah i'm getting my hair done next week by my uncle so i'm super excited about that haven't had my hair done since i got married so long time okay let's go i just finished my interval training uh, i did one minute run 40 second walk 20 times and it's so windy today like the last part of when I was running, I was running directly into the wind. So it makes me feel like you're hardly moving. Oh, that was the worst. Because you're working so much harder because the wind's like, it's literally blowing back. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh, so yeah, pretty exhausted. But it's fine, now I'm walking home, getting all my steps. And then um, it's my brother's birthday today, so this afternoon we just gonna go over to them, have pizza and donuts. I'll probably just take my own dinner and maybe have a donut. I don't know, I didn't do my refeed yesterday, so I'll do it today. But I'll probably save it for this evening, being at my brother's birthday. So, yeah. Um, oh, phew, but that was intense. Not gonna lie, see you guys just now. It's a beautiful day, but this wind is next level. So, four egg whites. Yum. Oh, I wish I had mushrooms if I may. Oh, that sucks. But anyway, 
Yes, this wind is insane today. Yeah, that was gross. Um, so, I'm actually glad like that I was going to wear a cap when I went running, but I'm glad that I used my headband rather because my ears, I would have had serious earache by the time I got home. Um, so, yeah, let me just wipe that. Because I'm always missing. Okay. So that's there. And let's just pull that in. Cool. See what it looks like. It doesn't look the best, but that's like all of the herbs. Um, that's not my pan, yeah. Um, so that's what I'm gonna have, but I'm gonna make it into like an arm style thing. Sorry, I just want to get a lid. So Workout resumed. Oh, I didn't turn my workout thing off. Workout so, paused. Yeah, that's that. How many steps did we get in for the day? Let's so long. We're on 10,551. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. Check at my nails. You see what happens when you don't get your nails done and you sanitize and bite your nails. Well, not my nails, but the skin. Okay. While we wait, um, yeah, I'm actually feeling blah, 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 blah. <laughs> feeling pop my toast. Oh, my toast. Love bread. Guys, I'm like a I'm like a carb girl. I'm a carby girl. I'm not a Barbie girl. I'm a carby girl. Love carbs. <laughs> um what was I gonna say? Yeah, like lot I wanted to like even just say it last night I had such anxiety around my food because I'd been so good and like on my plan and all of that you know and I just got like super stressed out if I wasn't gonna have like food that I could eat but luckily um Daniel's mom and Simone made nice like bride meat and there was like pork rashes and there was for the steak and there was green veg so I had those options there um obviously didn't have like proper measuring techniques like that I would have at home like my proper scale and stuff so I just kind of eyeballed on what I would think is a portion of this and a portion of that and I ate pretty decently I did have a small piece of cake for Daniel's birthday but I was still like not terribly out of my calories either for the day so I didn't do a refeed I just had like a bite or two um and yeah, and then the two glasses of Prosecco, which is only 69 calories per 150 mils. So, like, the glasses were, like, so big, so it wasn't even, like, 150 mils. It was a little bit less. So, yeah, but I couldn't wait for breakfast. Yeah, so there's my breakfast. I, like, made it into, like, a omelet style. And underneath, I actually put some pepper salsa, which is only, like, 12 calories for, like, a teaspoon. It's really, like, nothing. But that's breakfast with my lemon water and not Sprite, that's empty, but lemon water and breakfast. Yum. So I've just got out the bath and I scrubbed my body and now I'm going to use the Bondi Sands tan. Hey, huge. Um, to tan with the mitt, which is so nice because you don't get all like streaky. And this is the dark self-tanning foam and it smells really good. So... Yeah, I'm just a little bit pale and I would like to be a little bit more tan. You like tan, Sush? You like a tan? No? Tell me. Tan? Should mom tan? Sue speak. Should mom tan? Yes? Sush. Must I? Yeah, okay. I think she means yes. Yes? Mommy tan? Okay, she's giving me the evil eye. Let's tan. So I have just tanned. You can see I'm a little bit brown. Soosh, really? Um, it'll get a bit darker as it goes on the day. Oh, but Bondi Sands is just amazing, except that huge bruise. Just ignore that because I walked into a pool and super clumsy. But yeah, nice, beautiful, dark tan. Yes, queen. Just not my face though. Don't tan that. Just makeup. It'll work. 
So Danilo and I just woke up from a nap and now I'm having soup, butternut soup that was made by his mom. And then I just added 100 grams chicken into that. There's Danilo over there. And there's the chocolate cake. Yeah. This, <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? You look like Alan from Hangover. <laughs> no, I'm good. You can finish it now. So yeah, yum. Saturday. What do you mean? Don't play golf night every Saturday. Who knows? I know. <laughs> Maybe. Know. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do. To the loo. <laughs> so we just got home from our parents and we had pizza from Pizza Hut and donut and bowl and cake. It was amazing. But it is super cold. So Danilo is trying to set up the TV in our bedroom so that we don't have to sit in the lounge because it's freezing. But yeah, so that is it for tonight. I'm going to take my makeup off and my beautiful lashes. I can't wink. But yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow and it's rest day. So guess who gets to sleep in? Me, Danilo's got to get up and feed the cat. Yeah. He's not agreeing. Are you getting up to feed the cat? We'll see what time. What answer are you hoping for? Good morning, everybody. It is 10 to 9. I woke up so late, I had a good sleep in, and now I'm just going to get my steps in for the day as my race day. Um, and then Danilo and I will probably go do some shopping. I'll take you with there, and then back home to just chill because it's super cold outside. But I can't believe I slept so late. It's amazing. Okay, let's go. It's so cold. <laughs> okay, so we are going to have tea time. Not the D time. No, tea time. <laughs> He's also got tea on that side. And this is going to be the end to this vlog because there's not really much uh, happening here. I got here. a cup of tea. What was your thing of how you're going to label this? A cup of with a realist motherfucker. <laughs> there you go, ladies. Shit, that's hot. <clears throat> but so good. Okay. So, we're going to ask you 25 questions. Oh, oh, Don't take long to answer. Questions? Answer. That's enough questions okay. for, like, for my age. So, one question per year old okay. I mean, how old I am. Alright. What movie was so sad that you'll never watch it again? No, I don't have. He doesn't, you don't really get sad no. in movies too much. I don't. Okay. What are the two biggest lessons you've learned from previous relationships? This is only my second relationship. Okay, so. <laughs> from previous long-term hookups. <laughs> I didn't have long-term hookups. He's the worst to do this with. Okay. Okay, you got to learn something from one previous relationship. Then what did you learn? Um, that no, I don't actually know. You can't say I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What would be the absolute perfect day? Oh, I know this question. <laughs> There's most, the most perfect day? Yeah, the abs most absolute perfect day. <laughs> okay. Answer, truthfully. No, it would be a day, obviously, just spent with you. Okay, we all know you're lying. No, I'm being serious. It would start I off didn't with finish. him waking up at 7. No, I didn't finish spending a day with you. Like, you waking me up and saying, come, let me take you to go play a round of golf. And you get a cart and you drive the cart while I play. At least we're spending time together doing something I enjoy but together. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> what did you learn a little too late? Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> Who's that from? My One of my YouTubers I follow. What's her name? I would probably say maybe like... Paying, atten paying attention in all lessons learned. Like, in the sense, like, obviously in school, paying attention in class, when you did mess up, like, learning from those lessons and actually... Properly. 
paying attention to the mistakes you made and not doing them again. Okay. <coughs> what gross and unhygienic thing do people do that bothers you? Something that makes you make that face. <laughs> it's like, mm. I'm just trying to think. I, shit doesn't faze me. Liar. Like you in shopping malls where you see people pick their nose, you like, I don't see people Ew. pick their yes, nose. Yes, or when they're driving. And you're like, oh, it was digging really deep. No. That's not disgusting. It doesn't like... He's not phased. <laughs> That's what I Clearly. said. Clearly. <laughs> what habit do you have that you think not many other people have? I'm a golfer. <laughs> no, I know one habit, but I won't say it on you. What? You have a habit of taking a hundred years in the toilet, and I don't think a lot of people. That's not a bad habit. I actually enjoy my time on the on the shitter. It's a shit. It's a shit habit. <laughs> it's on okay. the throne. My time on the throne. Um, what do most people overestimate or underestimate about you? I can answer this one. Okay, answer it. You're actually pretty clever, and you just don't admit to it. He acts dumb in certain situations but meanwhile he's actually really smart but he likes to play stupid so if he was a if he was a girl he would be the ultimate dumb blonde and he would act that way but he's actually really intelligent what have I? don't flick your non-existent <laughs> <laughs> is that right yeah um what is something you probably should do but you'll never do Paint the walls in the room. <laughs> He's gonna do it. <laughs> okay. Take you to to swim with the dolphins. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. That's weird. <clears throat> what do you mean? You're never gonna do it. <laughs> I can swim. So <laughs> What is the best thing about your about how your parents raised you? Or maybe we should correct that and say, what is the no, best? Um, my mom's <clears throat> always taught me to never hold a grudge mm -hmm. and to let bygones be bygones. Okay. Mm. Cool. Um, what do you most look forward to about getting old? Oh gosh, I know the answer to this one. <laughs> What's the answer? When you retire, you're just gonna play golf. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's no. gonna be the only thing you do. <laughs> Not every day, though. Yes. You At will. least maybe three times a week. <laughs> Twice a day. <clears throat> No, I'll play golf on maybe. No, a, but okay, but what? That's not the question uh, about golf. What are you most looking forward to? Yes. Is seeing how much my face sags. No, growing old. What I look forward to is obviously growing old with you and then sitting mm -hmm. back and looking mm -hmm. how far we've come that we did make it um, and we didn't need to stress as much as you make us stress about the small things. True that. Okay. Oh, and also that one day you'll be at a party with our children and the grandchildren and you'd be, you'd be like, if it wasn't for you, no one would be here. If it wasn't for you having sex, no one would be here. <gasps> I wouldn't ever say that. <laughs> I probably would be in bed, to be quite honest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see where we go. Okay. What is the biggest sign of weakness in a person, do you think? I need some tea. Negativity. Is a sign of weakness? Yeah. How so? I just think that people forget that I don't know. Like, How's that like a sign of weakness though? Because if someone's negative, it doesn't mean that they're not a strong person. It just means they could be very logical and think no, the not, chances no, of this happening. No, it's not logical at all. I don't think so. A lot of people are more negative than anything else. Okay. Um, and yeah, in that sense, it's, you know, they just give up too easily or before anything they've even tried because they start something with a negative thought so they actually never proceed with anything. Do you want to share with everyone what's your negative thoughts that you struggle to stick with? Dieting and yes. gymming. Because he's always like, it's not going to work for me. Yeah, because the results I must see tomorrow, not... Because he's impatient. In six months. Okay. What's something you tried really, what, really hard to like, but you just couldn't? 
Tomato. Oh, onion. <laughs> <laughs> onions. <laughs> onions. No, actually, I'm eating more onions. <laughs> Hashtag progress. Oh shit, my battery again. This is a fail. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So we thought we were filming, but we went. I had to swap to my phone because my camera battery died. So, what makes you different from most people? Um, why are you asking such hard questions? You should be I don't more think of stuff like that. Okay. Negative <laughs> on that question. But um, I'm really good at sports. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hashtag LeBron James. Um, what was the best mistake you've made, as in a mistake that turned out really well? Starting to play golf. <laughs> so basically, this is a whole thing about golf. I hope you guys enjoy. If money was no object, where would you live? Oh, anyway, the best mistake I made was putting too much cream into the soup the other day. Oh yeah, that and was then a good one. Adding fixing. more veg and actually making it really yeah, that amazing. Was a good one. And the best mistake I made was actually trying, well, not trying, was cooking something, and then actually <clears throat> realizing how much I enjoy cooking. You should be a chef, but you won't. Okay, so if money was no object, where would you live? Anywhere with you. Come on, answer the question. <laughs> um. I don't know. I haven't really been many places, so. But from pictures you've seen, or like something, where would you live? Zanzibar is one place, obviously, because we've been there. I'd love to, maybe even in Italy, in Rome. Um, Not like right now, but. I mean, or maybe in Switzerland, because then we could go to the Swiss Alps every weekend. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> I can't say this. Brack pain. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to anyone who lives there. It's just not for Danilo. <laughs> okay. What were the last two books you ever read that Danilo has never read? Man, the last two books I ever read was the first and second Harry Potter in grade eight. You read eight. it cover to cover? Yes, in grade eight. I actually went up to the Goblet of Fire, the fourth book, but then it was like an extra 300 pages, so I was like, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that was the last book I ever read. Okay, if you dropped any everything and went... Allah, because I also read books, but I look at the pictures. So, that's not reading. Well... That's like skimming. If you dropped everything and went on a road trip, where would you go? Hmm. Down to Jab the in. coast, <laughs> yeah, or maybe to Sun City. Okay. To play golf. While you go to the lost waves. I mean the valley of the waves. <laughs> <It's just going laughs> go get lost in the waves. <laughs> what makes you nervous? I don't know. What? Being open about your feelings. It doesn't make me nervous. I just don't know how to do that. I've never really it done that. I'm close. I'm ask you to try. Okay. What was that first question? The one question about the relationship thing, past relationship. What have you learned from your past relationship or something like that? Is that you shouldn't just hold everything in and you actually should speak about it when there is something wrong. Okay. I'm still trying to do that. What makes Not that there's anything wrong, but What makes <laughs> you angrier is... than it should? Than it should. Yeah. So something that's really stupid that makes you angry but when you shouldn't. crunch on your Soup. Stop soup. And you crunch on your tea when you drink it. When you're crunching my ear. Or when the cat licks itself. And I can hear it. And you can see it. It really, really, really makes me angry. <laughs> what is the manliest thing you've ever done? I can't say. <laughs> Don't be gross. I saved you. <laughs> you saved me? No, I'm joking. Manliest thing I've ever done. Maybe like put up a shelf. Or actually made our... Building the TV unit. Yes, after two years of being in the same place. And lastly, how do you feel about pets? Well, that's an obvious thing. I love pets. That doesn't describe they make how you me feel happy. about them. How do I feel they about make you it? Happy. happy. <laughs> Except my cat. <laughs> Except my cat. 
That is your bed. <laughs> Except her. That's this really is a pain rude. in the ass. No, she's not. She is. Okay. <clears throat> so that more? is your no, that is your questions uh. for the day. Thank you for joining me in tea time. Thank you. Where's my tea? You drank it. What did that you, was what did you water. call the segment in? The segment? Yeah. This a kappa with a real motherfucker. Yes. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. How <laughs> Please check out Anil's chopping. <laughs> Is it helping? Yes, because that's like an old wives' tale. No, it okay, we're gonna do a Q and A with me answering questions for a change, with him asking me. Guys, this is Danny Law. If you didn't know. Okay. Let me just move a little closer. Okay. I'm screwed. Would you rather stay in or go out for a date night? If the Pope Catholic, I would rather stay in. <laughs> would you rather play a board game or watch a movie with me? Oh, watch a movie. I, well, unless it's 30 seconds. Or Twister. But that's not a board game. Twister. No. Not a board game. Watch a movie. Would you rather be a movie star or a favorite musician? A famous musician? A movie star. Would you rather go into the past and meet your ancestors or go into the future and meet your great great grandchildren? Go into the future. Why? Because I feel like that's more special. I'll never see them. Where I can always take a book now or go on the internet and like do some research and get someone to look into the past for me and see who my ancestors were. Okay. Would you rather spend the next year not paying any taxes or have one month paid vacation? Oh, one ma month paid vacation. Would you rather always speak your mind or never speak again? Always speak my mind. Oh, if I can do that anyway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, not Would you it. rather put a stop to war or end world hunger? Yo, that's a tough one. <laughs> because if you don't stop the war, then there'll still be world hunger. So end, stop, put a stop to war, and once that's done, that should no, also... Yeah. No, it's one or the other. Okay, I can't choose. That's really okay. hard. I would want to do both. Would you rather give or get bad advice? I would rather give bad advice because when it comes to my life, I'd rather someone give me something good that I can use. Would you rather always be gossiped about <laughs> or never talked about? Would I rather be gossiped about or, or never, never talk talked about? So people never talk about you or people always gossip about you. Which would you mm. rather have? People. Mm. That's a tough one as well. Would I rather have people never gossiped, people gossiped about me or never talked about me? Yeah. So they can gossip but they can't talk. Like nice things pretty much. The question, would you rather have people gossip about you or never talk about you at all? I'd rather have them gossip about me because if you've got haters, you're doing something right. Would you rather fail or never try? I'd rather fail. Would you work in a group? Okay, no, that's stupid. Would you rather work in a group or work alone? Um, that's, it depends on who okay, I'm working that's with. stupid. Because no, it's a choice, not who, in a group or alone. Okay, then at this point where I am in life, I'd rather work alone. Would you rather be stuck on an island alone or with someone who talks incessantly? Oh my word, I can't deal with like a 20 minute car drive with Daniel when he's had a bit <laughs> much to drink and he gets verbal diarrhea. So on my own, on the island, okay. <laughs> I'll talk to the would, tree. Would you rather have more money or more time? More time. Would you rather have a cook or a maid? Or like someone who cooks for you or a domestic? Or a helper. I mean a house executive. I'd rather have a cook to be honest. Okay. 
Would you rather hear the good news or the bad news first? The bad news. Would you rather be your own boss or work for someone else? Both at this point in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Not what are you doing at the moment? Well, ideally I'd always like to work for myself. I don't think anyone really thinks about working for someone. Okay. Would you rather have nosy neighbours or noisy neighbours? Oh, nosy. You can know all my business, but if you make noise at 8 o'clock when I'm trying to sleep, girl bye. <laughs> Would you rather have mind-blowing sex once a month or mediocre sex once a week? Once a month. It's <laughs> a lot of time I'm saving. <laughs> Yeah. Would you rather be a little late or way too early? Way too early. I hate it when people are late. It drives me insane. Would you rather have an unlimited gift certificate to a restaurant or a clothing store? <laughs> Damn, this is hard. Restaurant. Not for gym apparel though. Okay, but restaurant. <laughs> Krispy Kreme all the way. <laughs> Would you rather have many good friends or one very, very best friend? One very hugely humongous best friend. Would you rather live in Antarctica or the Sahara Desert? Oh fuck, Antarctica. I can warm up and you can't get cold in when it's in the hot like that. Jeez. Would you rather be fluent in all languages or be a master of every musical instrument? Oh, languages. I would love to speak like at least five different languages. Would you rather fight all the time, but have great makeup sex, or never fight and have mediocre sex? Never fight and have mediocre sex. That's it. And that is it! <laughs> Do I have more questions? No, that's no. all you got for me. I got more. <laughs> you got more. Well, we're on, what, five minutes of questions? Okay, let's see. What is it on the store? Snackaroonie. Okay. How did you get to school when you were little? I would get dropped by mom or my dad. What's the first movie you can remember seeing? <laughs> this is torturous. Scream. Because my brother made me watch it and I'll never forget it. The first movie you've ever watched? That's oh, what that's I remember. remember. Oh, okay. Did you ever have a childhood celebrity crush? Oh, yes. Chad Michael Murray from A Cinderella Story was all over that. <laughs> like a bee on honey. What did you watch on television when you were Oh my <laughs> word, The Wild Thornberries, Rugrats, Sabrina, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Wild Thornberries was my jam though. How did you spend your free time? When? <laughs> well, when you were younger. I would eat and watch Wild Thornberries. <laughs> what happened when you were sick? When I was younger? Yes. Well, it depends. I used, actually suffered when I was younger with a lot of like food poisoning or gastro, so I missed a lot of school because of that. And usually... Because you were full of shit, what? No, um. I would be a vomiting kind, not the diarrhea kind. So my dad would always make me an apple and he would grate it and then make it until it goes brown and then that's what I'll in line bed the whole day. What outfit did your parents force you to wear that you hated? Oh, when I was super small, like a toddler, my mom, I still have it in my cupboard, this little G-string bikini, this G-string costume and it would go up my butt and I hated it and I used to always look like I was digging in my butt but my dad said I really just hated the costume. What was the worst haircut or hairstyle, hairstyle you ever had? Oh my word, when I burnt my hair with the GHD, I had super long hair and I had to cut it. Like, it was like here and I cried because I was chubby. So like my boobs were out here, my hair was here, it was not a great look, I cried. How did your parents punish you? Oh, my mom would smack the shit out of me. <laughs> or <laughs> not in like an abusive way. And then I would get grounded. Not that what? I didn't love staying at home. <laughs> what was the naughtiest thing you ever did as a child? Sneak to a party. Uh, it wasn't like eating ice cream late at night or something. <laughs> what were your favorite toys? Barbies and anything to do with horses. Who? Uh, what was your nighttime routine? When I was young. Yes. Um, usually we would eat dinner at around 6 
and then when we when I was younger we used to watch TV in the lounge and we would watch Baywatch usually and I would sit by my dad literally like he would sit up and I would sit between his legs with the pillow behind my head and that's what we would do and then I would be in bed by around eight o'clock yeah what fun traditions did your family have Christmas morning was always the best because we used to wake up super super early and me and my brother would run to the lounge before anyone and then also when we were younger my parents used to still do the whole um what do you call it tooth fairy thing whenever our tooth fell out then we'd get money in okay. our slippers last question what's your most memorable bir memorable birthday party from when you were a child when i was a child it would have to be okay because every birthday that i've had it's usually overcast or rainy on my birthday so my mom and dad bought, well, rented a jumping castle for me the one year. And it obviously was super cold. So they decided to let us watch like a vampire scary movie. I was like a baby. It probably wasn't even scary. And all of my friends sat in the lounge. And we just ate a lot of food. That's, what okay. <laughs> That's it. Peace. Cool. Bye, Gary. So, <laughs> See you guys next time. Please like and subscribe and I love you all. Peace.